What up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, the time is here. Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning has now officially hit in theaters right now, and I had a chance to go out and see it. And as a fan of the franchise, I love the Mission Impossible movies. I didn't love all of them. I liked the first one, but my sec the second film is my least favorite of the franchise, and I rewatched all the films to prep to see Dead Reckoning Part 1. After Mission Impossible 3, every movie kept getting better and better and better, and the, the latest one, the Fallout, prior to Dead Reckoning Part 1, is my favorite of the franchise and I was so hyped for Dead Reckoning Part 1. They filmed this movie during the pandemic back in 2020 so it's been like three years of, since the making of this film and I know that Tom Cruise is all about getting it done well and done right for the sequel and I trust Tom Cruise because after what he did with Top Gun Maverick last year which is my second favorite film of, of 2022 He's all about getting it done well and done right, and it's all about patience, and it's all about timing. The promos have been hitting out of the park, seeing like Tom Cruise jumping off of the cliff of the motorcycle behind the scenes, seeing him how well he put a lot of work into that sequence. We were all hyped. It was shown in the marketing, the show the behind the scenes and all that stuff. And now, now I had the chance to go see Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning in Dolby Cinema, and I will tell you this right now, this movie is everything that you wanted and more. I loved it. It lived up to the expectations. The hype is real. Tom Cruise continues to crush it with his stunt work, especially the motorcycle sequences that he, that he kept on showing in the marketing. It really did pay off, and I thought in the context of the film, it made a lot more sense. Seeing it done practically was just insane this guy is a maniac when it comes to doing practical stunt work this is a guy who held on an airplane this is a guy who has flown a jet even though that he didn't really drive uh, the jet, the fighter jets in top gun maverick but he had flown it as he was shooting the movie and he was climbing up from dubai in ghost protocol and he was a and he broke his ankle making fallout that dude is crazy. He's all about taking a lot of risk to make sure that this film is as entertaining as possible. And coming into Dead Reckoning Part 1, I will say that the story was so well done. I love the characters. I love how they were able to poke fun at the tongue-in-cheek of an AI becoming the main villain. And yeah, it sounds very silly on paper, but in the context of it, it actually worked. It was very well executed. The cinematography was incredible. The director, Christopher McQuarrie, did a phenomenal job directing the film and collaborating with Tom Cruise. Even though you have many directors that came before Christopher McQuarrie, the franchise would not have worked without Tom Cruise, without his commitment and his collaboration with his cast and crew. I love Haley Atwell, who is a new addition to the franchise. I thought she was incredible. She plays Grace, who is a thief and a great thief that helps... Um, Ethan Hunt to go on in this impossible mission with them. And I thought the banter between the two of them was incredible. Haley Atwell is the one of the scene stealers of the movie. I thought she really did shine. And in case you don't know who Haley, Haley Atwell it is, she's the same uh, actress that played Peggy Carter in the first Captain America movie. She's been in the, uh, some of the MCU projects. So you may know who she is, but I thought she was incredible. And I thought Simon Pegg and the other cast members were incredible. I love how we continue to progress these characters. And yes, there are stakes in this movie because since now this is the first uh, part of part two of Dead Reckoning. Rebecca Ferguson, even though she's not in the film as much, but I thought she did play a great part in this story, and I thought the relationship really continued to progress with the whole crew, in including Ethan Hunt. I loved every bit of it. The film is very reminiscent to Enemy of the State meets Uncharted. It does have the reminiscence to those other movies, and I thought it really worked. And the train sequences, that was the most craziest stunt in this whole film. I loved how they were able to shoot it practically. And yeah, there were some green screens, especially in the tunnel sequences. But guess what? They didn't. They finance that uh, train to build their own train so that they can build it, crash it down in the middle of the hill of, off the tracks. They didn't. They didn't have someone sign a deal with to borrow their uh, their trains or anything to do this action set pieces no they financed it to build their own train i mean it's on youtube and you can look it up on the behind the scenes feature red but i thought that the fight choreography was hands-on tom cruise is continuing to be a stunt maniac 
he d- did not disappoint. I again, I did enjoy the story. Yeah, the, the some of the plot felt very silly at times, but it wasn't enough to take me out of the movie. And they had one character back from the first Mission Impossible movie, and I can't remember uh, the guy's name at the top of my head, but you may have recognized him from the trailer. And it did pay a little bit of a throwback to the first Mission Impossible movie, and I won't tell you what scene this is. Overall, this is definitely my second favorite movie of the year so far. This this definitely lived up to the hype it's everything i wanted and it was incredible to see this movie on the big screen and the beauty of it it is that it did not leave you on a cliffhanger i know that it's part one and it's setting up to what's going to come in part two but they had an ending and as much as i love across the spider spider verse the problem is that the film ended on a cliffhanger and we're possibly going to have to wait a couple of years or so for the next movie and see what's going to happen next because Across the Spider-Verse was literally the first half of the film of Part 2 from Beyond the Spider-Verse. But for Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1, this did not feel like a cliffhanger. It had an ending and it had a closure and it did set up for Part 2, but it definitely did not end on a cliffhanger where it just ends abruptly. It did not do that at all, and I was super happy they didn't do that because I hate when movies and shows, when they end episodes uh, at the end of the season or at the end of the movie abruptly on a cliffhanger, and you you have to wait like months or maybe years for for the next movie to come out. I don't like that. And they did the same thing with Fast X, in case some of you already know that in the end of Fast X, they definitely left you on a cliffhanger because they're setting up for another movie. But luckily, this movie did not do that. Overall, this is my second favorite movie of the year so far. I still don't know whether I liked Fallout uh, or Dead Reckoning. I mean, I might like Fallout a little bit more. But once I go see this movie again, I might change my opinion. But overall, this is definitely a worthy follow-up to Fallout. And I'm super excited for Part 2. I really am pumped. And yeah, they've had been shooting Dead Reckoning Part 2 for quite a while now. And I believe it was like back in August... And I don't know how much they finished it, so we're probably going to have to wait at least a year or two, depending. And it really depends on how much they finish the film. But I trust Tom Cruise for him to get it done and get it done right. Please get your tickets now to go see Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning if you're a fan of the franchise and you're a fan of Tom Cruise as an action star. This guy just continues to hit it out of the park. This is a man who's in his 60s and he's still doing these crazy shit stunts. Overall, I love this movie. And for those of you who have already seen this film, what did you think of this movie? Did it live up to your expectations? Did you love it as much as I did? Or were you someone that it just it just wasn't for you and you were kind of disappointed about it? Just jump down in the comment section below and leave me your thoughts. I would love to hear it. And if you really like this video, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos to come and turn on the bell notifications so that you won't miss anything. And I hope you guys have a great weekend and I hope you guys get your butts out in the theater to see Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1 because this is meant to be seen on the big screen.